Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Nerd Mode on, and I got a commentary for you guys on Battlefield 3. We're going to be discussing some good stuff that's going on in the community as of right now for the Battlefield community, if you're involved in that or not. But uh, for more in depth look, I guess, towards it, uh, the patch is going to be hopefully being released in the upcoming weeks. I know it's uh, sitting at Microsoft right now, and which is a good thing because that means it's in its finalization point, which it will, uh, you know, hit the uh, game and all that. So we'll have to download it. I'd say probably within the next week and all that. So I'm hoping everything goes over well and there's no issues that are found um, in the uh, information that EA is trying to get over and pass through. Uh, Microsoft in order for the patch to go I guess you could say active but um, yeah I'm just I'm pretty excited I know there's a lot of stuff going on right now in the Battlefield community that's just um, really kind of tearing it apart and all that stuff uh, you got the USAS or the you suck at shooting 12 or however you want to pronounce it um, yeah that's just a monstrosity now every lobby there's anywhere between three to four guys that just are shooting at walls with the frag rounds and pretty much breaking the game. Um, I know a lot of other things are being addressed, you know, like the Mav elevator, that's good. That's going to be disappeared finally. That only took, you know, you know what are we at now? Six or seven months or whatever in the game's lifespan. So it's nice to see at least that'll be getting taken care of because I'm tired of people getting on top of buildings that aren't playing the objective, which seems to be pretty much everyone in the recon kit that wants to sit back and pretend that they're actually doing something for the team. Um, I mean, that's just ridiculous, I could, guess you could say. Uh, there's a difference between playing the recon kit, you know, and it's full advantage and all that, and then just sitting on a mountain looking at nothing. So I'm hoping that they do a little bit more to the snipers and make them more um, to the point where people are kind of experimenting with other classes. I'd like to see more medics on the field because as of right now, you get about three... Yeah, about three to four snipers, and that, that already puts you down on console to eight versus twelve, depending on uh, the other team, if, how many people they have sniping and all that, but, um, yeah, I'm just really hoping something happens, uh, they actually, uh, you know, fix their game a little bit, I'm not saying uh, that Battlefield 3 is in any means bad, I mean, it's outstanding, it's ridiculous how much they put into this game, you can obviously tell that they put way more into it than Marvel Warfare 3 put into their game. Um, I haven't played Modern Warfare 3 in probably about a month, and then I did play it for like a day. I prestiged or whatever, and uh, just couldn't couldn't find it any fun anymore. Um, spawns are so horrible; it's ridiculous. Uh, I mean, this is nothing new to any of you guys that play, you know, Call of Duty. I mean, the spawns have always been bad. Uh, I think the only good ones was you know Black Ops and COD 4, because those are the hugest spawn trapping maps or not maps, but games, you know, you actually got rewarded for being good in those games, but, um, yeah, I'm just really enjoying this break that, you know, I don't have to go out and get gameplays for it or anything else, because, you know, there's thousands of people that are still uploading Modern Warfare 3 as if it shows anything different, I mean, if, any, if anything, Battlefield's showing you how to play the game, I mean, you can watch a gameplay, you can pick up more information, more tactics, uh, I mean, there's so much to dissect in the Battlefield game, I mean, it would take me probably hundreds of videos just to describe some of this stuff, like, there's stuff I find out every day that I didn't even know, you know, I mean, bursting weapons is huge in that game, you can get away with spraying in Call of Duty, you'll be fine, I mean, there's, most of the guns have no recoil to begin with, and then you switch over to Battlefield if you're trying to switch over, and it's just, it's a horrible conversion, because, uh, everything's all different, the mechanics, um, the mechanisms and all that connection usually is really well on Battlefield, especially since the servers are dedicated. So that means EA is in control of all the servers in which we all are connected to, which uh, can be really good and can be really bad. I wish they would open up a central United States server for anyone that's not on the east, uh, is it east, west, and south coast or something like that. I know there's not one for the central, which would be nice. That would help out a lot of people that aren't. Uh, wanting to be on the east and west coast, that's for sure. I think I'm connected right now probably to the south. I think that's a server, if I remember correct. But, um, yeah, it'd be nice if they could open up a couple more servers in the states, but, well, what are you going to do about it? Um, you know, get, still getting th uh, four out of the five bars isn't too bad. Uh, you can just kind of tell with the, the millisecond lag and all that stuff uh, when you shoot, but 
it's really overall it's not a huge deal. And then as for uh, some other stuff that I haven't uh, really addressed yet, uh, I do plan to continue with the uh, Battlefield uh, 3 campaign, I just haven't exactly had time. I've been having a little troubles with my uh, HP uh, desktop. I got that resolved last night, but I'm not sure if the setting that I equipped is uh, exactly something that I should be equipping. I turned on the boost mode on my computer and I set it to uh, basically the work mode because most of the stuff I do on this computer is uh, basically making the commentaries and the uh, placing gameplays in the files and all that stuff. I don't really use it for, you know, uh, watching videos or anything like YouTube and any of that. I usually use my iPad or, desk or uh, laptop for that. But, uh, yeah, I got that resolved. I'm hoping I'm going to go up to uh, probably our local uh, computer store and buy some upgrades for it. I need to get an external hard drive so I can place all these gameplays that I've already posted on YouTube for you guys. Uh, off the computer that way I can retain my um, memory for it and I need to upgrade the uh, RAM card and double what it's at right now uh, it came stocked with 9 but I can upgrade it all the way to 18 and I figure if I just get that out of the way now those are expenses I won't need later on so um, yeah that's just kind of uh, why I haven't been able to upload it's not that I haven't wanted to believe me I wouldn't for the last week, I've wanted to get you guys some stuff. Uh, I know a lot of you guys saw those trailers and all that, and you're like, what the hell is this? But uh, they were just on the Xbox dashboard. I figured I'd put them on there for anyone that was interested or getting uh, psyched for any of the games that are coming out or anything. Uh, I guess you could say almost free advertisement, but um, in a sense, it had a good purpose to be placed on there. It just didn't retain a lot of, uh, I guess you could say, views towards... You know, anyone that plays Call of Duty or Battlefield, I mean, there was that Call of Duty one, but most of you guys know how the map packs are finally working. Every month you get a b bullshit map, and for anyone like me that didn't buy the Elite service because they didn't want to get scammed, especially since I beat Call of Duty in two months, uh, I max out my whole character. Now a lot of you guys that are, anyone that knows me or anything are probably going to be like, well, you didn't finish the game, you stayed at 10th. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't figure 15th was going to be anything. Um, I'm not going to 15th. I prestiged to 11, got to 33 or something like that, and decided to end my career there just because I told you guys I just it's just not for me anymore, um, especially with how broke that shit is. It's just absurd um, to even, I mean, I guess you could say it's absurd to even think about playing it, <laughs> in my opinion. I just, you see all these, a lot of these bigger YouTubers are just switching over, they're like, yeah, I'm getting off that. I don't even know how some of them still play it. I mean, even with the best team, I mean, I played with some pretty strong guys with some pretty good KDs, and, I mean, it just screws you over. You get killed when it's not your fault, spawn trap. Well, in a sense, spawn trap. You can't really do it anymore, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just not for me. I like the whole tactical aspect that Battlefield brings you, you know, there's multiple things that you can do. Besides when people do the Mav glitch or they camp for the Viper or Little Bird, which that gets a little old seeing that. But what are you going to do, right? It's only a matter of time before the patch comes out and maybe people, maybe this will be an eye opener that says, you know, maybe I should play the objective or actually play the game the way it's meant to be played. But, um, yeah, that's just how I view it. Maybe you guys uh, disagree. You guys could for sure let me know in the comments. I like to I like to read what you guys write. Some of you guys write some pretty nice stuff. Uh, it's usually pretty nice. A uh, little bit of an eye-opener to kind of see how you guys view the things that I talk about in these videos and uh, kind of elaborate more on them. But um, as for uploads in the next couple days, I'm still on spring break right now. I plan to upload this commentary today, the one that you're obviously listening to. And then I have another one stockpiled. I edited it last night. Uh, it's going to be a little long, so uh, I'm going to have to figure out some topics for it. Because I figure um, if it doesn't have any topics, I'm going to be saying um a lot like I have in this. And I'm just not going to be very organized, I guess you could say. Because there's a lot I want to talk about in that video. I kind of want to dissect it and talk about the patch that's coming out. That's what I plan to do with the um, information. And I just figure you guys would like to know maybe some stuff that's coming out in the Battlefield 3 patch for anyone that's interested in playing it or if you have it and it's just kind of sitting on your shelf. Um, but yeah, so this has been um, kind of a little video for you guys, a little update on what's going to be happening. Uh, I do continue to plan, hopefully, to upload one video a day besides Saturday. I have an event going on. But other than that, um, 
yeah, that's really about all I wanted to talk about this. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay that was presented on Operation Metro. Um, I'm pretty sure we held out on the first base. The other team wasn't really interested in making too much of a push. And as a result, they kind of got slaughtered, and I pulled out a pretty good score that I was pretty pleased with, I think. And I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.